Hey there, everybody. Welcome back to Turtles in Time. Uh, today we're going to take a trip to the past. See some dinosaurs, see some boats, maybe see a train. Prehistoric Turtlesaur! Yay! Whoosh! Here we are, let's hope we don't step on any butterflies. I gotta hope that everything we're doing here doesn't really affect the future too much. Foot soldiers! Feet. Yeah, foot soldiers. Hey, yeah, I think because they're individual soldiers. They're not soldiers of feet. Ugh, more of these shield guys get on my nerves. I swear that's why they give you the regular guys on normal, just so that you can slam them around and not have to deal with the shield characters. You know, these dinosaurs seem to have it out for me. We've only just met. I love these blue guys. I like when they swing their axe. If I remember right, I give one a chance to do it. I don't know why. I'm, I'm easy to please, but that just makes me laugh every time. More rock soldiers from Dimension X. The shoulder block me. Sure. In case you didn't notice, I kind of advanced pretty far, and for whatever reason, I off screen the first two that showed up. I guess when you get far enough away, they figure, eh, well, he's not bothering us, we're not going to bother him. Or they saw what I did to the third guy and said, nope. Good decision. But the bomb chucking guy is taking care of the shield guy for me. You always want to wait for those. Try to save those, uh, those power-ups right for the end. Or right when you're about to get a bunch of enemies at once. Yeah, that was kind of bad timing on that one. Yeah, that's a good trick. Slam those guys around and you get invincibility frames while you're doing it. Thank you, dinosaur. Hey, caveman pizza. Help restore my health there. Soldiers. I like these guys. I, I, rock soldiers, I think somebody else said that they might be called something else, but they were always rock soldiers to me. This was a cool toy. I, this is one of those toys I'd like to have back. I had, I wanted to have Metal Head back. I'd love to have Slash back. Funny because it kind of fits. Sort of prehistoric turtle look to him. I think in the cartoon he was either Bebop or Rocksteady's pet, and they accidentally got uh, some of the mutagen on him. He became he became Slash, the Twisted Mutant Turtle, with a somewhat simple pattern. So, what's your guys' experience with the Ninja Turtles? Have you is this something that you something that you've been a fan of, or were you just a fan of the games? I know people that love playing the games just because of the way they were, but weren't actually fans of the Ninja Turtles themselves. What about you guys? Did you watch the original Turtles? Did you ever read the comics? Did you move into it later? I watched, uh, I think it was the second incarnation, and then at some point they went to another planet, and they had these sort of gravity... Like these gravity suits on that would resist the gravity of the planet because it would fluctuate. That one I didn't. I wasn't a huge fan of that. But right before it, I was a, I was a fan of that. Then the 3D CG one I never really followed too much, but I did watch. I think there was a movie for it, and I was actually pretty interested in the movie. The creatures were freed from a dimension or something, 
and then they had to try and get them all back. I think it was like 12 monsters or something. But yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys, what your experience is with the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> is, uh, are the Michael Bay movies all you know of the Ninja Turtles? In which case, uh, I kind of feel bad for you. But if it's what you like, it's what you like. I'm never going to hassle anybody for what they like. I just, I'm going to have my opinions about what I like. And what I definitely don't. And to be fair, this movie, the movie has its, you know, it has its charm, it has its good, good points to it. And I'm a little interested in the second one. Oh, good shot, thanks for that. Thanks for that other boat. And that other boat was actually pretty helpful for me. Yeah, I don't demonstrate stepping on those things. It's pretty basic. You know, you step on it and it whacks you in the face. I like the arrow guys. I'm, I'm a little bummed out that they were just... They walk on and you can hit them and kill them or they walk away. I like some sweet bow and arrow moves. These guys right here, I cannot stand. You see the way they combo you up? For some reason, those things hit really hard. Clean house, get them out of here. Trust me, you want to go after them first, you want to be careful not to get hit by those spike boomerang things. Right out of an old school martial arts movie. This thing kind of... I feel boxed in when I do this part here. Ow. You said it, Raphael. Shell shock, indeed. Oh, be Rob and Rocksteady. I love these two guys. I think I said before I was a Bebop fan. Love Bebop. Liked his look. Not to mention I like bacon, but. That's not exactly Warthog. I'm interested to see these two guys in the upcoming movie, too. I think that's one of the reasons I'm kind of interested in it. That's right. Just because you don't like Michael Bay doesn't mean you can't enjoy a movie made by him. Doesn't mean you have to boycott everything he does. You know, the first Transformers movie was... I, I enjoyed it. The third one was pretty decent. I thought it was a good action movie. It, you know, it, it gets labeled as a Michael Bay production and all of a sudden, everybody just instantly hates it. Once you kill one of them, the other they start fighting each other. And they'll die, so that fight's over. Time for a train ride. I like trains. Trains are a fun way to get around. You, know, you get to see a lot of stuff, but you know, it takes your time. The only problem is it's actually pretty expensive, considering it's much slower than flying. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like some of that cargo should probably be tied down, considering that these are basically flatbeds on trains. You know, pretty, it's open air. You know, barrels can go rolling around at any point. Which is probably going to be worse for them than it is for me. Clean house a little bit there. I tried to throw everybody off of that train. What I love about some of these old games, man, they're just so much fun. You know, those guys standing there with the sombreros and the ponchos on, and 
you know, it's just a fun thing to see. And a lot of companies, they, you know, a lot of games, they try not to do that nowadays. They, you know, everybody wants to be taken so seriously. And it's, just have fun. It's one of the reasons we all love Nintendo. And Nintendo, I've seen it described that Nintendo, they, they like doing things a certain way. And when you want to do stuff, you know, a little more grown up, quote unquote, you know, you have other companies for that. So I hope Nintendo never changes that. I hope they never go to a, get into a situation where they want to be super serious and all their games need to be dark and nah, big bright colors. Make the game fun, you know, stuff like Splatoon. Took care of those rock soldiers there. Nice, nice, nice random crate full of fireworks. But you know, keep the game big and bright and fun. And you know, if I want to play something really dark and dank and you know, it's all super serious and there's blood everywhere. I got other systems and other games for that. I need Nintendo to be fun. And that's all, that's all I need to do. It's one of the reasons these games are so timeless. You know, when you when you go to play it, it's still just as much fun as you remember. Leatherhead here. Gotta love the Cajun alligator music. I like his little hat. The way it flips up in the front. It was a weird fight. For some reason, he doesn't let you get the fourth hit. Ow. Not quite shell shock, but it definitely hurts. Come on. Get him. Ow. I get a feeling one more of those and I'll be dead. Yeah, once they start chucking lobsters at you, you know the fight's getting real. Now, that waiter at Red Lobster proved that, proved that that one time. Alright guys, we're done with the past. Next time, we'll, we'll take a trip to the future.